it's true. Luke Spencer is my father. Then why did you lie? Because I was afraid he would run if he knew I was here. Well, it appears that Luke has gone to great lengths to disappear. Why would I betray his trust? Because he's in a really bad state, and you said that you were working on some kind of deal with him, so you must have a phone number or a way to contact him. Please. Please help me. When you ask so prettily, how can I refuse? I knew you were lying from the start. And why'd you hire me? Curiosity. If you were willing to take the job, it meant you were after something. I wanted to find out what. So I watched and waited. The waiting part was enjoyable. Well, now you know I'm looking for my dad, so... Are you able to help me find him? <laughs> How did a hard-drinking wreck of a man like Luke have a daughter like you? Well, if you think he's such a wreck, then you won't mind telling me where he is. You have your father's gift of persuasion. Please. Your father's unreliable. He disappears for months at a time, then reappears just as mysteriously with offers of lucrative deals. It's him. But see, here's my difficulty. If you see Luke, you might convince him to go home with you. Or he might just ditch you and disappear for good. Or he could be more useful to you once we have our personal issues resolved. If I help you... I need some compensation. Sleep with me and I'll tell you where your father is. No. I thought you wanted to see him. I'm not that desperate. You hurt my feelings. <laughs> Let me put it this way. If you don't show up at five at my office, I will contact your father and warn him off. Somewhere? Uh, yeah. The restroom. It's over here, I believe. Grab him. God, what the hell is this, man? Unusual credentials for a bouncer. Would you tell these idiots to let me go? And why should we, Detective Falconeri? Because you're already in a world of trouble, have you? I'm insulting a police officer. You really want to add that to the list, so why don't you let me go, and we'll call it even. You're out of your jurisdiction, detective. Mm -hmm. This is unfamiliar territory. He's going to make a wrong turn. Unfortunately for you, it's not going to be up those stairs. It's going to be straight to the swamps where no one will ever find you. You're not too bright, are you, Javier? Look at the situation here. I'm a cop. If something happens to me, you go to prison for a very, very long time. But no one is ever going to find you. Not even the lovely Miss Spencer. But you'll be alive long enough to hear my review after I... screw you. <laughs> now that, that's not... That's not generous. You had the pleasure. Why should I? You touch her, I will kill you. I promise you, you leave one finger on her, I will kill you. Ah. <laughs> uh. I really hope Javier is paying you guys enough money to risk a life prison sentence. Because that's what you're going to get for killing a cop. You know, on the other hand, you let me go, I can, I can make sure Javier never bothers you ever again. You're not going anywhere but the swamps once Javier is done with your girl. find this a very enjoyable experience. I want to know where my dad is first. If I give you that information, you might run. And if I try to stop you from running, you might lose your incentive to please me. But you'll have no reason to give me the information I need after you get what you want. We made a deal. I'm good for it. Oh, you're in no position to make demands. How do I know you'll keep your end of the bargain?
course you'll please me. And if you're very, very good, I'll tell you everything you need to know. <laughs>